Good Happens, your celebration of the literary arts in Saskatchewan. Today I'm very pleased to welcome Theodora Ajimananane. Theodora, thank you so much for being on What Happens. Thank you for having me, Danica. So why don't we start off, why don't you just tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, so I'm originally from Ghana, West Africa, and then I was, um, I moved to Italy when I was about nine, so long ago, <laughs> and then um, I lived um, all my life until I got married and moved to the UK, and then I moved here five years ago to Saskatchewan. So yeah, so I've traveled the world. So in traveling the world, I suppose you've witnessed and seen beautiful things all over the world and collected stories. What made you want to begin to share stories? I think um, I've always loved reading and writing and um, just wanting to share experiences through the books that I read because I felt like I could tell my own stories and then I started writing like journals and so the first journal my sister gave me a journal when I was about 14 and then I would write all my you know what was happening to me day to day and then I write I read love stories and I felt like oh I could write something like this and then so I got inspired by writing my own journals and then reading other stories and I remember my first story that I wrote was uh, set in Texas and that was mainly influenced by the American literature that I read and I've never been to Texas at the time but I just felt like <laughs> I wanted to write something that I knew from the books so that's why I decided to you know start writing um, a story set in Texas which I don't even remember where it is. <laughs> <laughs> well and, and so you loved words even when you were a very small child. Yes yes I remember my mom lived in Italy when I was very young and I couldn't even write and uh, I remember taking pieces of papers and then pretend writing letters to her even when I couldn't write <laughs> so <laughs> yes yeah, so I've been really in love with literature and writing and words from a young age. And so now you have your your first novel this is your first novel? Yes. Wasting Away so can you tell us a little bit about how this came about? So I was so this story was um, part of of me for a very long time and then when I moved here 2011 I, I just saw the opportunity to just do everything from scratch. I didn't have a work. So I said, uh, instead of, you know, looking, I worked in optics before in, in London. So I decided to, instead of looking for a job in an um, in office, even you know, in opticians, you know, shops, why not dedicate my time to my passion to develop it? So I decided to really look into the story that I had sitting there for a long time and then I um yeah so I met some of the um, writing residents. The first one was um, Alice Kuypers, but I didn't work with her on this novel. I just did some workshops that she was hosting, and then um, the second one that I really started working with was um, Yvette Nolan. She was the writing resident at the time, 2012. Then, so it was 2012 that I really started, you know, digging into the story, and then yeah, so. Yeah. So do you want to tell us a little bit about what the story, what is the story about? So the story is about uh, Susanna Danso. She's a mixed race girl. And um, her, um, she, she's m very insecure of herself, but she never been too much, you know, too much into it. She didn't give too much um, attention to her own appearances until she meets, um, she started dating this guy. And then... Um, so they tease her when when she's in class. They call her like big bottom, and though she doesn't have big bottom, you know, name calling sets into her head, and then she she decides to lose weight when her her Brad Brad is the little the boy the the other character in the story that is main character is Brad. So Brad decides to break up with her, and say, oh look, I don't like you because of you are not looking like a model. Mm. So she sets in her mind that, oh, if she becomes a certain body, then she maybe would win Brad ba you know, back. And um, so, but this turns out to be a more of um, a story of self-discovery, self-acceptance, accepting who she is and not for who other people might want her to be. So it's a story of, you know, young adults of um, love, love and also loving yourself for who you are. And 
being a mixed race, it was very difficult. So for her, is to accept both cultures. Mm -hmm. So it was yeah bringing the culture. So my passion is also you know talking about the culture that I've experienced in my life. So diverse culture, and that's what I really wanted to uh, deal with. Mm. So is um, is the is it considered a YA novel? Yes, it's okay. YA, but um, I know adults have read it, and mm -hmm. it's because the topic is um, self-image. Everyone kind of uh, deal with that. Well, know? I know. Yeah, I know so myself. Even you know, at my age, I, too, I read so. YA books because I enjoy them. Yes. But I also find that there are when there is a story that helps you learn about yourself and learn about self-acceptance. It's it's really wonderful. Yeah. So what, what else are you working on these days? So right now, um, I'm also, also a photographer, so I'm trying to combine motherhood, photography, and writing. So I have um, some business on the photography side going on, but the story that I'm trying to bring out again is set in Europe. I'm not sure where it could be, but it's... And then I want to look into the Yugoslavian wars because I was, I was there when it happened, you know? Not in the country, but I was in Europe mm -hmm. when it was, ha you know, happening around me. So I wanted to maybe look at the lives that was going on, and um, how a war can impact, you know, lives and you know, emotional, and, you know, like uh, psychologically. So mm -hmm. that's what I want to work on. And so you're you're writing about places you know. So yes. setting is sounds like it's very important to you in the it story. It is. It is. So because it's it's where you can relate to a story if you you live in a place so you don't you don't have to live in a certain place to be really relatable to a story but you can experience other lives you can experience experience other cultures and that's important to me to you know bring into my stories and yeah kind of attentive to details on that so i and hope to convoy that is Wasting Away set, uh, where is it set? So Wasting Away is set in Verona, Italy. Mm. And um, so I wanted to bring the romantical side of Italy and also how simple life, everyone lives in the country. So this city especially is where other people live and you might live in Canada, but you want to experience Verona and that will take you on a trip. So <laughs> that's what I want to do. And it's excellent. That's it's such a lovely way to experience literature is yes. to take it up a piece and, and to begin to allow yourself to immerse yourself in other cultures yeah. and, and get into the minds of the characters. So it, it sounds fascinating. And I think that's all the time we have today, Theodora. So thank you so much for being here. This has been Lit Happens. You can find more episodes of Lit Happens on Shaw TV Saskatoon's YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. See you again.